Hello, my name is Shahriyar Shahriyari, and this is a short math video on negative exponents. So if you have a power, something raised to a power, but the power happens to be a negative number, then remember that you're not getting a negative answer. What you're getting is a fraction. This is by definition. By definition, if you take anything, apple, raise it to a power, and then negative power, negative n, that's the same as one over the same apple raised to the positive power, n. So apple to the negative n is the same as one over apple to the n. And this is the definition. This is what this notation means. And this works as long as apple, the thing that you're raising, the base is not zero. Because if the base is zero, this whole thing doesn't make any sense because you're dividing by zero. And dividing by zero is a no-no. So for example, what does five to the negative three mean? It's not a negative number again, it's a fraction. What fraction? One over five cubed. And one over five cubed is the same as one over 125. What is x to the negative four? It's one over x to the fourth. What is four seventh to the negative two? Well, it's one over four seventh squared. Again, apple to the negative n is one over apple to the n. Four seventh um, squared is the same as four seven times four seven, 16 49s. And one over 16 49s, it's when you have a fraction like that, the fraction flips and you get 49 over 16, and that's the same as 7 fourths squared. So in fact, if you have a fraction and raise it to a negative power, is the same as raising it to a positive power, but flipping the fraction. Okay, so just reminding you of all rules of exponents and definitions and rules. So if n is a positive integer, when you say a to the n, something to the n, you mean multiply that thing by itself n times. Something to zero is defined to be one, uh, as long as a is not zero and zero is to, to zero is undefined, a to the minus n, as we have been discussing, is one over a to the n. And that's for a not equal to zero. And the rules that we have for um, uh, integer exponents are the following. As long as the bases are not zero, then x to the a, x to the b is x to the a plus b, x to the a to the b is x to the a b, and x, y to the a is x to the a, y to the a. So if you have two powers, x to the a and x to the b and multiply them, and the bases are the same, then you add the exponents. If you have a power of a power, you multiply. And x, y to the a is x to the a, y to the a. Um, we also have two other rules that follow from the previous ones. x to the a divided by x to the b, dividing two powers when the bases are the same, is the same as that same base, uh, but you subtract the, the subtract the, the exponents and x y x over y raised to the power a is x to the a over y to the a. Now these are true as long as x and y are not zero. In fact, the same rule works if a and b are rational exponents. But if they are rational exponents, then you have to make sure that x and y are positive numbers. If they're negative, then there are occasions when they read these rules fail. I'll give you two examples of how to use some of these. So what's five to the negative three times five to the thirds? Always with all of these things, you can do them several different ways. One way to do this is to say that, well, five to the minus five, thir three times five, there are two powers and the bases are the same. So we add the exponents. So we get five to minus three plus three, minus plus three plus three is zero. If you have three pizzas and eat them, then you don't have any left. So five to the zero is one. Another way of thinking about the same thing is going back to the definition. What's five to the minus three? Well, it's one over five to the third. One over five to the third times five, five thirds is this five to the three is five to the three uh, divided by five to the three, which is one. Both of them give us the same answer and that's reassuring. Um, in fact, this is the reason, one of the reasons we have five to the zero to be one because we want all of our rules to work. That's a definition but, but it, that definition helps for our, our rules to work in more general. So one last example, how would you simplify six raised to the power negative two times 15 raised to the power three divided by 10 squared? You could just find each one of these and then use your calculator, but I wanna do it slightly differently. Again, for many of these problems, there's many ways of doing them. Six to the negative two, what's six? Six is two times three. So six to the negative two, two is the same as two times three to the negative two. X, Y to the A is X to the A, Y to the A. That was one of our rules. So this is the same as two to the negative two times three to the negative two. So I've pre-processed six to the negative two. Now I'm gonna do the same with 15 cubed. 15 is three times five. So I have three times five cubed. And again, that's three cubed times five cubed. And finally, 10 squared is two times five squared, which is two squared times five squared. 
Having found those, I go back to the thing that I wanted to find. And instead of six to the negative two, I put two to the negative two times three times three to the negative two. Instead of 15 cubed, I put three cubed times five cubed. And instead of 10 squared, I put two squared times five squared. Now in the numerator, I have two things, three to the negative two and three cubed that have the same base. So those I can combine, keep the same base three, but add the exponents, minus two plus three is one. So that becomes three to the one, which is just three. So what I'm left with is in the numerator, two to the minus two times three times five cubed. And the denominator, I have two squared times five times five squared. I can take that fraction, split it up into three fraction, because when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight through, the numerators gets multiplied and the denominators get multiplied. And so what I have written here is the same as what I had before. But what's two to the negative two divided by two squared? Again, bases are the same. You're dividing, so you subtract. Two to the minus two minus two is two to the minus four. Three divided by one, well, that's just three. If you have three pizzas and just one person eating it, they get three pizzas. What's five cubed divided by five squared? Bases are the same, you subtract. Five raised to the power three minus two. Three minus two is one, so you get five. So you get two to the minus four times three times five. Three times five is 15. What's two to the minus four? Well, by definition, that's one over. It's a fraction. One over two to the fourth. To, and so and two to the fourth is 16. So the answer is 15 to the, over 16. And this is the end of this short lecture. If you want much more detail, see my two longer videos, 30 minute videos on one on integer exponents and one on rational exponents.